Hi, my name's John. Welcome to another Sunday night nightcap. Tonight's nightcap, I've got a little bit of machining, not a great lot. Uh, I repair it. It's actually a, a tripod of a telescope that belongs to me brother-in-law. I spend a bit of time doing all that too. Little bits of quick setup in the middle of the machine so you can make two or three parts the same very quickly. Yesterday I had a day away. Um, Richard, the lad that runs a big Sentinel steam wagon, he took us down to see one of his friends down at Leeds. Uh, the lad down there had a Sentinel S4 steam wagon that he's well on his way to restoring. It's just about finished. Uh, the interesting thing is it was actually owned by Scottish and Newcastle Breweries, which is from up here, so it's a, it's a Newcastle based wagon. There was also quite a lot of other interesting steam cars and traction engines. It was, it was quite an interesting place. Uh, the only problem we had on the way down it was heavy rain, coming back the rain turned to snow. I'd left my car up near Richard's house. Uh, Richard's got a big four wheel drive rain driver, so it wasn't a problem getting there, but getting my car home was quite interesting. I'm only pleased that I had winter tyres on it. When I was playing in the snow, I realised that Deb's Lister is in the shed up the garden and I hadn't drained the water. So this morning I went and got the Lister out, uh, firing it up as you do, ran it up, cleaned some of the rust off the flywheel. The flywheel had gone rusty, I hadn't oiled it before I put it away. Deb had a little bit of play with it as well, uh, drained the water, oiled it up and put it away nice and safe for the winter.
right Oh, that's only warm. It's good to my room with oil candles. Just in there. Aye. I'll put it in there. There's your tape. You're going to put the wire back, wasn't it? It's how you learn by doing it yourself, right? Right. We're going to let the water out and we'll let it see if we can open that little tap there and all the water will come out. I know, but it's going to run all over that. It'll be alright. Are you sure? Yeah. Oh, right. Oh. You're going to screw the tap out now. Oh, you've done that to me. You've got to piss that. You want to just to spark the fit that? It's dripping. I know, it needs to piss it. Oh, technical. And is that the same way that we here? Oh. Uh, So I'm going to tell you to limit the mess. There's no mess. Well, there is if you put it, they left the tap that way, it was running over everything. I'll tell you. And on this bit? Yeah. And a little bit as well. This bit. What about them here? No? No, no, just a bit, the bits are not beautiful. Water in, it'll feed Please, up the yeah. Still water in. Yeah. Woohoo! Now that's how it ends, he's quick. Oh, it's oil. Bah, it's muscle in there. Oh, yeah. And it's still going. Oh, right. oh, it just went there, but it was all the way down there. Oh, right. Now, did you blow it with a hairdryer to dry it out? No, that's it. Put it in now. Is that way better? Aye. Are you sure? Action. Do I need a come and look at it? That's lovely. You can't out any look at it. Right. Well, you that's that's better. Hi everybody, nice to see you all again. As you can see, I'm well and John's well, obviously. Um, we've been putting the lister away, so we've emptied the water and we've beast it. So that'll be away for the winter now. As you see, we've just had some snow, not a lot, so I can't build a snowman. But most of all, I'd like to wish you all Merry Christmas and all the best for the new year. See you later now, bye. I've got a little job here to do. It's actually for me brother in law, and what it is, it's a it's a centre support of a, a tripod of his telescope. As you can see, there's a little end here that's broken off. That goes onto there. And that went onto there with a bolt through it. And it, it's broke off. It's actually made out of fantastic plastic, as is most things these days. Um, so what I intend doing is, it seems that's a weak part on the, on the whole thing, the door break off. I've got some aluminium here. I think I'll cut that bit off there, machine that down so it fits in, put a couple of bolts through it, and then drill the end, and that'll be a good, that's a good fit to pivot onto there. It's probably a, more than it needs. I'm gonna do all three ends. I will make three new legs out of, out of that, but I've only got enough to fill for two. So that's what I'll do. Mill that down, fits into there. We'll probably make a little I've set up the milling machine so I can do it, make three of them quickly and easily. Nine and a quarter mil. That is 12.75, so we need to take an equal amount off each side so it fits into there. It's already the right, the right width for that end. 
I've cut three bits of aluminium, roughly to length. I'm just going to machine the end square. I mean, I can do it with a file, but I've got a milling machine stand here, I might as well use it. I'm going to go inside the, the base because it's easier for the camera to see what I'm doing. I've turned them round. Right, that deals with three blanks the right length. Right, we'll use our parallel to make sure we get them all nice and level. I want a 4mm hole drilling on that line in the centre. Right, let's get on the line there and I can estimate the centre of that to within probably the fanny's hair of being spot on. Which is there. Right, that's right in the middle. The 40 type of lubricant is the best stuff for aluminium. This drill is not the best. Maybe I'll just change that for a better drill. I quite often use a collar chuck for drills. It's just see if changing the chucks or all that's all. Right, that's a nice new one in there. Well, that doesn't want to do very much.
Try a little bit of anchor loop. A motion snot. I'm not going to drill this. Break my throat. I couldn't understand why it wouldn't drill. I was having to put that much weight on. And what's happened is the quill lock somehow was getting on the other side of there and it jammed the lever. The hand had been across there and then when I pulled the pulled down that stoppage pushed the handle down and jammed it. Okay, so it can drill. No problem. This new got tools absolutely brilliant for deragging deragging holes like that. Right. I'm just going to put a chamfer on the two edges. I could do this with a file, but I might as well do it in the milling machine, that's what it's for. You often see us using these as parallels. What they are, it was an old uh, depth vernier, like a table mounted vernier that was scrapped, and I cut these up and I ground them nice and accurate to do do for I want them to do. This is starting to get complicated now. I need 1.6 mil off. Each face off both sides. Right. Okay, another 1.6 Once again we'll just touch the cutter off
This is totally over the top, but it's it's for an hour in the workshop. And I'm enjoying it. That's the main thing. Right, next thing is to cut off the damaged part of the legs. I've got all set them up and use a slitting saw. Right, I just cut them off with a hacksaw. Right, so now these are a precision fit into there. Now what I'll do is drill a hole through there and put a little nut and bolt in and that will hold them in place splendidly. A little bit over the top but it's, it's a good repair. Right, I've set it up to drill the, the 4mm hole. Make sure we get all through the same. Simply put that drill through there and acts as a stop on the edge of the vise and I'm just lead, lining up that leg against the top surface in the vise. So that's going to drill in the same place. A quick, simple and rough way to get the holes in reasonably the same place. It hasn't got to be too accurate. I've actually gone to ridiculous lengths to repair this, but it, uh, it's made a little bit of video for you. I quite enjoy doing it. You just, that touches onto there. And that's level with the top face of the vase. I suppose I could have tapped some threads into the aluminium blocks to really make a, a meal of it. I'm going to need another spanner somewhere, but I don't know exactly where. That went like that, and then the little pivoty, the foot goes on there, and that's and a little bit more of them corners. It's just never in in this bastard job. A little bit more radius on there. I think we'll just fail that. Right, I've rounded it off with a fail. And that is, as we see in these parts, the dog's bollocks. I am going to make a start next week on the collar chuck for the, the Harrison lathe. I'm going to use that the drive plate, the catch plate I got given, and make a machine this down and make a boss to fit on it and make a, an AR32 collar tool or something like that. That'll be a I'll probably do it in probably three or four videos. I'll take my time and do each stage. Uh, that's quite some, some nice interesting machining. Uh, there's, a, there's a thread to cut. There's a tape I'd like to do. I might try using my little die grinder and grind the tape by this time. I've got some nice tool steel uh, to make it out of 
nice hard stuff it's good to machine so we'll probably be having a go with that as you've just seen on the video Debs is doing well she's in good spirits uh, my dad's doing well he's a lot he's improved a lot he's he's getting himself in the routine now and he's looking forward to going to the hospital getting himself sorted out and then hopefully getting back to normal once again i'd like to say thanks very much for watching my channel and subscribing to my channel clicking the like button but especially for all the messages all the get well messages that are coming in towards deb and me father ed thanks very much it does make a massive difference um it's cheered her up and when it really has it's cheered me up as well anyway thanks i'm going to drill all three at once So we'll just use this parallel to get them all bollocks. Get them all bollocks. <laughs>